The next one we're going to do is um, we're going to go through and try to update the network um, network driver, what the what Microsoft calls the network adapter driver. Um, of course, I'll put this uh, link at the top. Um, it's actually uh, from an earlier video. I thought I'd break down um, how to update the network driver, uh, <clears throat> just in case you're having uh, or your computer's having network issues and this is one of the suggested solutions okay uh, I'm gonna put this URL at the top of the description for the video and let's go through and cover this a little bit so we're in this section here um, it's kinda midway down the page under the bigger topic of fixed network connection issues in Windows 10 um, if you're here you probably have got um, some type of issue um, Let's look at what they say. So, normally, what can cause this issue is, of course, you, you have Windows 10 and uh, some older, um, even newer uh, network drivers uh, uh, need to be updated uh, to work with uh, Windows 10 and to make sure they are working correctly. If not, you might see just random drops of your wireless connectivity um, or something of that nature. So, um, or if Windows has put a patch on your system, it may have broken something that was actually a bug before and somehow you, you know, the driver got around it and now it can't. Um, so let's, let's go to step one. Uh, there's several ways to get to your network uh, adapter driver. Uh, one that, way that they suggest is device manager. So we're going to go down here into the little search box, um, type in device manager, and you don't even have to type the whole thing out. Um, it'll come up, you click on it, <clears throat> and you can see right here under network adapters, there's, on mine, there's a plethora of network adapters. One I have that is turned down, um, that means it's uh, disabled. Um, an easy way um, to take a look at these in totality is to go back to um, your search screen here and just type in network and view network connections and click on that this gives me a little better view um, I've got it on tiles right here you can just click on this view this view gives a bunch of different layouts um, if your eyes side is going like mine this is kind of a nice view you can see what's connected you can see I've got two wireless uh, uh, cards in my computer right now and of course the Ethernet connection just in case those go out um, uh, my Wi-Fi 4 that's what it's called I must have screwed around with it a lot and I've been on my fourth network card here messing around um, but this is the one that's actually connected to my wireless network so put in details it gives you a little more uh, wider layout but I kinda like the tiles here um, it's clear concise um, that's an easy way to get to it and then you just right click hit properties and go into configure and we'll center this up here and go under driver and what you can do is you have a bunch of different choices here. Um, Windows 10 is pretty good about um, being able to allow you to roll back your driver in case something goes wrong. Um, mine's updated to the latest version, but let's go ahead and click on update driver. Um, what you can do is search automatically. This is not going to be a real great way of doing this if you're not connected um, to the internet, but if you are, um, you can go ahead and ha have a Windows 10 search for you uh, online and in this case it's determined that um, my software driver is up to date um, if it is not uh, just simply click on uh, install and it'll install the latest driver if something goes awry simply click here this will be active this rollback driver you can click on it and it'll roll back to the um, previous driver um, that was working and um, normally if you're stuck without Wi-Fi I would suggest you get a network cable connect directly to your wireless router um, wherever you have it um, ours is in a closet downstairs and I 
it's a pain in the butt to drag the computer down there, but I do it and connect the uh, uh, Cat5 cable to it. And then I search online for the um, for the wireless adapter um, driver. And let me close this out. Let's go back to what um, what Microsoft is telling us to do here. So what we did is we typed in device manager and then uh, selected device manager and then we selected our network adapters which is this this drop down here and you can right click like they're telling you here and just hit properties or up, simply update driver software let's try it with this one here and see what we get and they tell you to search automatically of course like I said if you're not connected that does absolutely no good um, this in this case um, Windows did successfully update the driver software for it um, because I've already have a connection um, it went in and did that but um, this one I have turned well I turned it back up but I'm gonna go ahead and disable it again because I don't need both running um, and it should be as simple as that they tell you to go ahead and restart if you're asked to restart um, and see if that fixes your issue uh, if if you can just kind of test it um, if if you sometimes you don't need to restart you can just try to go over here to your wireless uh, uh, wireless connection icon click on it and just see if you can get connected after you've done that uh, update um, if you can't um, then I would suggest again hooking up the the cable and just dragging the computer to the router um, that way you know you've got a good connection and seeing if you can uh, get your wireless uh, network adapter updated. Um, another thing you can do is visit the PC manufacturer's website and download a, the latest uh, driver from there. Um, like they're saying, if you can't connect to the internet, you need to download the driver on a different PC, PC and save it to a USB flash drive and then manually install it. Um, that's no big deal. Uh, you can do that if you've got another computer um, and simply transfer it over. But in this case, um, what I'm going to do is let's let's try that. Let's um, go to Realtek. I actually have a it's a TP Link. Uh, that's what I've, I've tried to homogenize all of my uh, wireless adapters and routers. So we're going to put in um, TP Link. Um, and let's just see what we pull up. See if we can pull up that. I think it's all Chinese made equipment. Um, and go over to support. And normally you can enter uh, the model number. So I'm going to go back to device manager here. And I think it's RTL8192. Let me just put that in there. R RTL8192. Let's see what pulls up. Okay, nothing pulls up there. But I do have it here. I have a USB uh, USB network adapter here. Let me get this out of the way. And um, I know it says Realtek, but it's actually TP-Link. Let me pull this up here and see which one it is. Um, sometimes you can look at your network adapter, and this one is uh, TP-Link uh, model number TL. Put in TL, kind of working in the dark here. Dash, okay, my eyesight's getting bad too. Um, WN822N, so WN822N. You see, I probably searched for it before. So let me stick that down there. That's my exact one there. Um, just click on it, it's a 300 megabit per second. Uh, high gain. It's got the funny little antennas on it. I think it looks like a little mouse. Um, it's kind of cute. Let's see. I scroll down and I don't see... Okay, here's support. So, version 4 is the latest and that's actually what I have and you want to make sure that you're using a US driver because a lot of these manufacturers uh, produce drivers for different countries, different languages, uh, different operating systems. You can see it's a Mac. Of course, we're running Windows 10. We're absolutely not doing the Mac. 
Um, love Mac products though, I really do. So I scroll down to the bottom, you can see the latest one uh, was published on um, 3-11-16. I know this looks like November 3rd, but it's actually um, March 11th, 2016. And you can just say right click and save as. Um, we're just going to put it in the download folder and it's going to save it as a compressed zip. Yes, it already exists because I've already done the update. And you just download it and then go over to your Windows folder and go to downloads. And I always sort by date modified. It should be the latest one out there. And you can see it's this little zip file here. here. And what we'll do is we'll just say extract all. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll put it there. That's the default. It'll take a few seconds to actually um, to finish. I'm going to replace all the files that are there, even though they're the same, because I, I did this recently. And on this version of Windows 10, um, I'm using 64-bit. So that's the one I would use. But actually, you can just double click on the setup application and run probably straight from the manufacturer's uh, setup at, uh, executable here. But if you wanted to, you could actually open that folder up, see what's in there. Um, and what you can do is actually go back to your device manager, right click on update software, and let's just drill down. And we're going to say browse my computer, and um, let's just go as if we're doing it from scratch. You got downloads and you're going to go to the folder that the uh, zipped file was executed or expanded to. In this case it was the TLWN822N which is my driver. Go to 64-bit, select it, hit OK, and you can say um, include subfolders and hit next and it says the best driver is already installed because it is the one in that folder. Um, Another thing that you could do and kind of mess around with is um, go to the same spot and just say let me pick from a list of drivers that match my network adapter and um, there should be a list of them that is compatible with your hardware. You can always select one, um, give it a shot, see if you can get connectivity. If you can't, just tell, just tell the, just roll the driver back and to roll the driver back you can go to properties and go to driver and then just this will be active here it would be enabled and you just click on it there hopefully this was a somewhat helpful and uh, maybe get you on your way to updating your um, updating your um, your network adapter driver uh, wish you luck